What's going on warriors? Oh, I'm back. I am back like I never left. Did you miss me? I missed you guys. I hope you missed me too. I'm not wasting time getting straight into this thing. I'm talking about X-Men Apocalypse. I was about to say Days of Future Past. <laughs> I've got to be referring to that movie and X-Men First Class during this review. Let's get into this. This is a complete review where I have spoilers. So if you don't want to see spoilers, then please feel free to subscribe, like and check back when you have watched the movie. I think that's enough time. Let's get into this thing. Days of, um, Days of Future Past. X-Men Apocalypse. Film was excellent. Film was excellent. Okay, now let me compare it for a second with First Class. First Class, didn't actually like it. I liked the reboot, but the way they did the Hellfire Club, didn't like it. So that film for me pretty much gets a 6 out of 10 or 7 out 6 out of 10 Days of Future Past X-Men Apocalypse was actually better than Days of Future Past but the Days of Future Past story is better than X-Men Apocalypse story but the X-Men Apocalypse is actually a better movie take that how you will Aurora Monroe, Storm, absolutely fantastic. I didn't think they could do it. I didn't think they could find an actress that could play Storm that I would like to watch over Halle Berry. And they've done it. Well done, Fox. 20th Century Fox, well done. You gave us a Storm. Quicksilver, easily best character in that film. Free. Free, that character was ridiculous. What, when he saved everybody in Xavier's school mansion? From the explosion, stop it. Stop it. And they actually acknowledge the fact that he's the son of Max Eisenhart. Magneto. Sick. Sick. And you had a good... I did enjoy the way they did a little bit of story with Magneto. Where his wife, he had a wife, he had a kid. And how they got killed. And how he tried to rehabilitate himself. He tried. Wicked. Well, I respect it. I respect it. So for that, the way it felt like they did continue on from Days of Future Past. It did actually feel like those events happened because of the way they make Mystique. The way everybody idolises Mystique. It's not about her powers. It's about her the symbol that she is. What she did for the X-Men, for the mutants. What she did for them. The only thing I did not like about that was the fact that she spent more time in Jennifer Lawrence mode than she did in Mystique mode. But you're supposed to be a mutant that is proud of being a mutant, yet you make yourself look like a human. You make yourself not look like the mutant that you actually are. The same thing with Hank McCoy. Slight bit of a problem with that, but other than that, that's just been nitpicky. Movie was excellent. As I said, Pietro, best character in the movie, easily. But I really, really liked Scott Summers. I actually couldn't believe how well they did that character. Like, he actually looked a little bit like... What's that character from Back to the Future? Marty McFly. When you look at that movie, he actually looked like the character. He was real cool. The, when you saw the team of Nightcrawler, Cyclops and Jean Grey, it was actually a wicked little team. A wicked little X-Men team. By the time they got together and you saw it was um, Beast, Mystique, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Jean Grey, Xavier. It was it was good. It was good. Havoc had his he had his moment to shine as well in that movie, which was really cool that we actually got to see Havoc. You know, because Havoc has not been a big character in the X-Men universe like Cyclops has, because Havoc died. He comes back in certain sagas, you know, as they do in the X-Men movies, comic books. But the fact that I think he's dead now, he should be dead, so now it's all on Cyclops, and Cyclops was brilliant. They gave him the, they, he actually got the blue spandex outfit, Yeah, and he had the, the belt thing that goes across with the X symbol there, and he had the visor in the end of the movie, you saw it, it was godlike. Even at the end of the movie, they did like the secret ending, where you saw them with the vials 
of blood that they've been extracting from mutants. And you saw the from the Weapon X program because you saw Weapon X Wolverine. So the next movie because you saw Essex Essex Corpse. You know they're gonna they might do something with Alpha Flight or X Force because you did see in the end Psylocke she did escape. She did manage to like walk away. So maybe they might do something with Deadpool, Wolverine and Psylocke and X or X-23. They might. They might do an X-23 movie. We don't know. But the hidden ending does show us that they are going to do something with like, you know, X-Force or X-23 or Alpha Flight or something like that. Or the Weapon X program. Yeah, it might be the Weapon X program. We don't know. Did like it. Funny enough, the worst part of the movie I thought was X Men was the Wolverine part. I did like the way he looked like Weapon X Wolverine, but I did not like the scene that he fought everybody because it just felt like it was just another bit of Wolverine where they tried to go hardcore with the blood and killing people, but he doesn't actually kill any enemy. Yeah, the people do die, but when he stabs somebody, there's no different scene you stabbing them or punching them. Whenever he stabs someone. It's, it's always inside the person like that. So it literally looks like a punch. You don't see any limbs flying anywhere. Yeah, you saw blood. But it's not grim. Like, you could put Wolverine scene in a PG movie. In a PG, in a 12 movie. And it was still clear for that. Because it didn't look grim at all. I wasn't moved by the violence. If that's their level of R-rated Wolverine, then it's going to be... Almost as garbage as the last Wolverine movie. Enough about that. Apocalypse. Good character. Very, very good character, actually. Now, when I think of Apocalypse and how they could do Apocalypse in a movie, that's Apocalypse. Well done. Well done. You did as good as you could. Would Marvel be able to do a better job with Apocalypse? I don't know. When you look at the last character, Ultron, is questionable. It's very questionable. Because Ultron was an absolute disgrace that was not even Ultron. Mandarin was an absolute diabolical liberty that Marvel took with that character. So I don't know. I don't know if Marvel could have done a better job that than 20th Century Fox with Apocalypse. But what they did with Apocalypse, they did not nerf him. He was still overpowered and he was still ridiculous. The only thing that I can say that I did definitely have a problem with was the astral plane fight that he had with Xavier. I didn't like it. I thought it was going to be more crazier, more epic, but I do understand it. People that are criticising this movie, saying the movie is not good, are people that don't understand the context of what they show. They don't understand what it means for us to see Jubilee with the yellow jacket, to see Nightcrawler with Mystique, to see... Scott Summers and Jean Grey together as a team. And they had like a nice little team. Jean Grey, Nightcrawler, Cyclops. I liked it. When you saw Quicksilver with Mystique. Or Quicksilver with Max Eisenhart. It's good. It was good shit. A lot of Easter eggs in there. Aurora Munmo, fantastic character. Jean Grey and Phoenix. Because in the day, the end fight was actually real, real good. I loved the end fight. When they, all the X-Men fought against Apocalypse, ridiculous. Ridiculous. And Psylocke. Psylocke was good. Psylocke was real, real good. I liked the whole Team Apocalypse. M Apocalypse was using MSP. And Archangel. Godlike. It was good. You saw a Team X-Men. I liked it. I liked it. It was actually a real good movie, man. That's a film that I recommend you go watch. All the people that are saying that the movie is rubbish, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't understand the source material. They don't understand the Days of Future Past story. They don't understand First Class Story. Hellfire Club should be much better than that. But they definitely don't understand Apocalypse, the character, and the whole X-Men characters. You're not going to see character development in these characters. We've already had that in First Class in Days of Future Past and now this movie, that's all the movies where the characters have evolved. Okay, Cyclops did have character development. Jean Grey did have character development. Yes, Psylocke, Storm, Archangel, they didn't have character development. They're bad guys in this movie. For 90% of the movie, they're bad guys. So of course they're not going to have character development. 
understand the context of the movie. You're definitely going to like it. I promise you. Warriors. I need to hear what you guys got to say. I personally will give this movie an epic scale. Because the movie was more epic than godlike. Like Civil War was. I'd give this movie 8.5 out of 10. Want to hear what you guys got to say about this. Warriors. Take care. Stay blessed. Give me the comments. Give me subscribe and like. Please. And I want to hear what you guys got to say about the movie. Till my next video. Later. Thank <laughs> you.